I'm Chris Mira, I'm the director of PASS. Um, PASS tells the story about a long relationship, about over 15 years of a couple. And um, it tells about mainly about relationship, but also about a child who's growing up and um, about dynamics, how a couple comes together and how it maybe splits up and maybe what's going on after that. So it's a movie where you can explore relationship and maybe you find something about yourself. Du weißt noch, wo du den Film eindenken ja. musst? Ja, das musst du hier auf. Ich weiß, okay. Passt gut drauf auf. Und wenn ihr dazu kommt, schreibst du halt. Ja, ich schreibe. Okay. Okay. Ich schicke euch Fotos, ich schreibe euch. Wollen Sie Andreas Haller den heute hier anwesenden Martin bitte zu Ihrem anvertrauten Ehemann nehmen? Wir sind alle Ewigkeit die Treue schwören und so weiter und so weiter. Dann sagen Sie es ja, ich will. Nö. Dann werden wir uns heute nicht mehr vereinigen. Das bist du noch ja, ja. Natürlich. Ja, ich will. Gut, das brauchen wir noch. Ich hab's ein bisschen eilig. Ja, überleg doch mit. Ich bin noch nicht in der Haus. Ey. Ja, stundenlang. Andreas, ich habe das Gefühl, du bist nur noch in deiner Werkstatt. Ich weiß langsam wirklich nicht mehr, was ich machen soll. Mach ich irgendwas falsch? Ich weiß was überhaupt nicht, was bei dir da vorgeht. Paranoid oder was? Ich bin nicht paranoid. Ich will ja, einfach wissen, was, was in dir vorgeht. Ich ich Rede einfach mal mit mir wieder, okay? Von Mensch zu Mensch. Nicht nur Werkstatt und irgendwie Bett. Welcome, Chris Mira. You did make Path. This is your graduate film from the Konrad Wolf Film Academy. Yeah. So is it also your first film dealing with the queer content? Uh, no, actually no. I, I did several um, um, films. For example, I worked for the you know the the Manma, so for the um, I don't know the the actual because it's such long to the. Um, um, the, the homosexual um, man Mal, um, at the Potsdam Platz. The, the memorial yeah, for the I, murder. I did uh, the EDP okay. and the editing of the film, which is now running again. But, but uh, you know, it was like a project lots of years ago. And um, then I did for the Cottbus Festival, they had a queer feature, and um, we did four festival trailers for them. And we used four couples like two girls, two guys, and all the four actors were like exchanged the whole time. So you didn't know which couple you would see. Would you would see a gay couple, a, a straight couple, a lesbian couple. So the audience was always seeing another film with another trailer and they didn't know what kind of couple they saw. And the nice thing was that um, the audience didn't um, say it were four trailers. It was one trailer which is allowed two people coming together and loving each other. Okay, so queer love like and queer heterosexual love, love yeah, is equal, yeah. that's nice. So in opposite to most love films, your story sets in at the very end of the relation, they separate. And it's a very painful process and a very long process of separation. So what's fascinating you about the end of a relationship? Um, well, I think the, the film mostly tells um, the whole time of this couple being together and one part of this is of course that they, they split up. Um, but I, I think what is really interesting is to see how um, the, a relationship de develops over the time and um, how um, certain behaviors come um, into, into place. And, um, the, and, and we didn't want to show that, for example, Andre, uh, Andreas or Martin, one of them is the, the reason um, for the split up. We wanted to, to, um, to, to uh, remove all this. Um, um, so the audience have to fill the reasons and, um, and their own um, um, experiences about relationship. Um, so so when, when the audience sees the film, they, uh, they, they found lot, lots of things about themselves. I mean, it's uh, interesting that you just like mentioned that the audience had to fill in like the thoughts about relationship. So, I mean, what I thought when I, when it, the film starts with a very remarkable scene of a video call of the two, they are separated for for work reasons. So I thought like you get like right away an idea of the whole 
dynamic of the relation. I mean, you can tell right away who's playing kind of role. So, I mean, are these roles fixed? This of role the actors that's... like Martin and Andreas, like, I mean, they, they are like, have fixed roles in the relationship. So, I mean, I think like there is a path like determined Yeah, of course. I mean, Andreas is, uh, is, has, a, has a workshop and he's rooted there because it's uh, a long part of his history um, that you know, it's, it's his father's workshop. So, um, of course, this is what he's going to do. And Martin studied biology and, um, you know, he has difficulties to find a job in this place. So there are um, reasons which come from the world and not from, from them that makes it very difficult for them to, to stay together. And um, I, I think that is uh, some, some important reason because, um, um, you know, mostly when, when you have a, a split up of a couple, then there are lots of reasons, you know, found by somebody cheated or um, they were not, not faithful to each other or something like that. And <clears throat> that is so easy because you can say somebody did something wrong or both did wrong and um, all the <clears throat> many reasons they have are so, you know, in this moment so big and they forget what happened all the years before, um, you know, how they came together. And of course, they had lots of really good times, but it is, you know, when, and when they when it's split up, it's not important anymore. And um, I think um, with this film, we can show somehow that um, when there is no, um, no yes, uh, no or no wrong and right, who is the, the first person in, in the whole process, then um, of course you have to, to, to start to think, okay, what, what happened with my relationships or um, did I behave like that? And you, you're, you're always um, very close to them and you like them really as, as a couple because they are so cute and how they get together. And you see why they love each other so much and you also know why it's not going to work out maybe for them after they split up. That's true. I mean, in the first sequence, it's like quite clear that they have like very different needs of communication. The one wants to listen or to see the other. It's like, how did you come up with this idea? Um, we wrote, um, I, I wrote a script together with Philip Oesterle, um, my uh, screenwriter, and um, we, we started to collect lots of little bits of scenes where we saw that could be interesting um, to show, you know, when you, when you say, we want to show some, some kind of a big relationship over a long period of time, then there are certain moments where you say, well, there could be a reason why something happens with this couple. And we collected them, and one of the, of the, um, of the topics was that they have a long-term relationship and um, cannot live together because uh, Martin has to work in another place and um, so there has to be some kind of communication through them and uh, Skype um, um, call was you know a possibility to show how they are they handling that after they live together their whole life together and you know it, it's it's some some kind of normal for I think the younger generation that um, you know that relationships are you know one thing and the other thing is that you have to do a career or um, that and, and the work sometimes um, um, makes it necessary that you um, have to stay in another place and um, it's not so common to say well we have we are here we're living here as a couple and we have to stay here you mentioned already like the different backgrounds I mean Martin is a biologist and Andreas is running the workshop the carpenter's workshop of his father so, I mean, what's even more complicated, Andreas is the father of his son. So, and the trauma of the sudden death of the mother of the kid makes things more complicated. I mean, they take Max to their home and they're suddenly becoming a family. That's quite interesting. So what did this change in the relationship? Well, I think um, it's always about responsibility and um, they come together and Andreas is not like showing that he has a child um, because at the beginning he doesn't know what's going on with his relationship with Martin and he, he, I mean, he has a kind of humor about that. So, um, so when, when Martin meets uh, Max the first time, um, they, they get to know each other really, really well. And so they already there start to, to get a connection to each other. And um, when when the mother dies, um, it is is I, for me it is uh, um, the most important thing is that Martin says to Andreas, well I, I will take the responsibility to um, to help you to um, 
um, that, that Marx has a good uh, childhood and, and it can grow up in, in a good environment. And of course, Martin is an influence and at, um, at the end of the relationship when Marx is much more older, um, we see that Marx um, you know, sees them both as, their, as, as his fathers and it, uh, it, you know, even if then they split up, he, for, it, it's still that they are both his fathers. So um, for me, that was important to show that it, you know, the film is not about you know, how Max is growing up. It's, it's something what happens to them, but you can see that um, they are a family and they have their values as a family. And of course, Max is the, the most important part of them, of course, when, when they're a family. I think like, it's quite interesting when they break up, finally, like Andreas is uh, feeling some jealousy towards Martin because like Max and Martin are quite close. So, I mean, this is, it's very well. I mean, it's, it's, the two actors are not gay, I think, right? No. So was it like hard for you to rehearse the scenes, like the love scenes and like to make them queer, or to, to make them act queer? Um, actually, uh, I didn't want them to act in any way queer um, because I, I thought, you know, we were just telling a story of a couple and that's all. I didn't care if they're gay or straight. I mean, we could have shot the film it was a straight couple, a lesbian couple, but also worked to st tell the same story. And um, the actors, um, I mean, I, 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 I casted them separately, mm -hmm. you know, like got to know them and talked about relationship. And the second step was to combine the actors which are, you know, in the, in the pool of maybe um, to shoot with them and they had really good chemistry between them. You know, I, I asked them to play some scenes of the film, for example, when they're at the, the beach and um, Andreas tells Martin that there's some other lover in his life. And, um, you know, that, that scene, and they were so, so cute already together in this scene. So I knew that um, if they, they play that together, I wouldn't have any troubles to, you know, to, to, to give them the, you know, that they play a couple. I mean, you just like mentioned like the scene at the ocean. So the nature is like quite important, like within this movie, mm. the setting, the forest, the highlands, and of course, like as I mentioned, the ocean. So are these settings a symbol of their very own kind of relationship? No, um, I, I feel that, um, you know, we, we are very close in one relationship, but it could also be a relationship of all the relationships, and, and somehow, um, in, I mean, in a modest way, you know, they are not not very special, or they are not, uh, you know, like uh, it's not a Cinderella story. Um, so it is, it's just a couple, and. Um, they are, um, you know, we're always close and we, we observe how the relationship is going with, between them. And of course, we need sometimes to do a step back and see and have get a relationship to the world which is around them because we are in a vacuum of their relationship and we're not, you know, what's, what are their friends doing? There's nothing in, in the movie about that. It's just them and the relationship. So when we go one, one step back, you think, okay, well, what's what's the meaning about that? You know, I'm not close anymore to the couple for, for a second, but I find out how uh, maybe I see what's going on or how I would um, um, behave in a situation like that. Or maybe I, you know, your, your head is starting to think about um, what was going on. So um, it is always a, a way to show the world and, you know, our two, our little couple in it. You know, it's, it's to get a... Um, it's a certain dynamic. Yeah, yeah. I see. So, I mean, I was overwhelmed, like a very different question, by the way. When I saw the credits, you have been not only responsible for the script with your co-writer, but you also did like the cinematography. And, I mean, furthermore, you are the producer of the film. Was it like hard for you to manage all these different jobs? during shooting? Um, it was very difficult, <laughs> but um, you know, I, I, I like to do my own um, um, camera work um, in, in several, in, um, you know, in, um, in several kinds of movies like this one. When I I'm very close to the actors, they need to feel me and they can feel me through the camera. And you know, I did the whole film with handheld camera, so I was always very close to them. And it was like, um, you know, like dancing with them together. They felt me, I felt them, so we could, like, I could move over and, and that's something I can 
do with them um, in a very intimate space. You know, there were not many people around us. There was a sound guy and me, mostly in the scenes. So, for example, you mentioned the scene when they, they have love together. There just us, us four. So that, that, is, that is really fun to shoot and you can try all the things out and you can look around 360 degrees because it's possible. And, you know, that was maybe the main reason to shoot it like that way and not to have 30, 40 more people around us, which is always nice because you, you have have um, a more easy um, way of, of, of shooting but in this way you have it more intense and you you need to work because if you don't start to shoot then nobody will tell you you have to shoot. I mean clearly you can see the intim intimacy that, that's created by this like small team the two actors but also like the small team it's really like nice. My last question is um, I'm curious are you working already on a new project? Yes, I am. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm now a master schüler. I am a, I'm, I'm a dedicated student of one professor of Barbara Albert, and um, I'm doing two more years of studying and writing um, for a, uh, for a script. And um, it's about a very close friendship, which is not very easy to define if it's love or friendship. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty all the same. And we we combine this um, story with a genre like thriller. So it gets another um, motivator in it, so we don't have to deal all the time with feelings. It, it is the main reason to, to tell the story, but we have another motor which makes it maybe more um, exciting for the audience to do that. So that's uh, the thing I'm working right now. So good luck for your upcoming project. And when is your first screening here at Berlinale Film Festival? We're screening on Monday um, at 7.30 and it's our premiere and on Thursday on uh, 12.30, I'm not sure about that, and uh, at, at, at 9 o'clock. Okay, good luck for that too. Thank you. Thanks again for coming. Sure. Chris Mira.